Are you ready to put it all together and see how much profits Tesla will generate in 2026, 2030, and beyond, and what that means for Tesla's share price? Let's go. In each of the four previous videos, I put together numbers for profit, gross profit for each of four categories, vehicles, solar and power wall, mega pack and robo taxi. And you can see those in the columns on the left side of the screen, starting with vehicle profit. So here we're doing the pessimist version of the story where vehicle profits are fairly low because they just didn't turn out that good. And being pessimistic, we left full self-driving revenue out of the model. In this version of the model in 2026, vehicle profits reach $48 billion. And in 2030, vehicle profits reach $90 billion. When you go over to solar and power wall, we're not pushing solar and power wall in this version of the model. And out in 2030, that's only $11 billion in profit, gross profit again. We're going to talk about net profit shortly. Going to the third column, we see Megapack starting to boost Tesla's profits. Ultimately, that's what's going to boost Tesla's share price. We see Megapack in column three reaching $44 billion in revenue in 2026 and over 160, nearly $170 billion in gross profit in 2030. Last, we get to RoboTaxi. This is, again, the pessimistic version of the model where RoboTaxi doesn't get that big. And out in 2026, it's only $6 billion in profit. But getting out to 2030, it ends up being a big number, $150 billion in profit. Putting these all together, in 2026, we reach right in the middle of the sheet, we reach $100 billion in profit for Tesla. And out in 2030, we reach over $400 billion in total gross profits. Before I go further, I wanna thank the Vasa Law Firm in Sweden and all my Patreon supporters for helping this channel grow. You can get the Be Less Wrong t-shirt, link in the description below. Now we come to net profits. And for this simple version of the model and this pessimistic version of the model, I just cut gross profits in half to get net profits. That's not the best way of doing it, but I'm just doing it for simple for now. This is a pessimistic model. And it's pretty pessimistic to say net profits are going to be half of gross profits. So in 2026, we get $50 billion in net profits. And in 2030, we get over 200, nearly $210 billion in net profits. In the column right below me in yellow, you see the price earnings ratio. We start at 100 and it drops quickly. Out in 2030, we see the price earnings ratio falls to only 39. That's only a little taller than Apple and much less than Amazon. Applying the net profits to market cap, we see a market cap of $3 trillion in 2026 and a market cap of $8 trillion in 2030. This pushes share price in 2026 to about $3,000 a share and $8,000 a share in 2030. This is actually consistent with a previous model where I said that my bear case was around $8,000 a share in 2030. When the bear case, when the pessimistic story comes out, you end up with $8,000 a share or a more than 10x increase in stock value compared to where it is today. Really almost 12x. But let's see how much better it can get. This is a more optimistic scenario. You can see vehicle profit hits $53 billion, almost $54 billion in 2026. Again, that's gross profit. We get to net profit later. In 2030, we reach $130 billion in vehicle sales profit. Solar and Powerwall still small in this version of the model. 2026, it's $2.5 billion in profit. Out to 2030, it's $18.6 billion in gross profit. Not a significant factor in this part of the story. Megapack is big, bigger than it was in the pessimistic scenario. It reaches $32 billion in 2026 and pushes up to almost $260 billion in profit in 2030. But now RoboTaxi in the pink column starts really taking over when you get out to 2030. It's $9 billion in profit in 2026, significantly less than Megapack and the vehicle profit. But out to 2030, as you reach 13 million robo-taxis making a lot of money, that pushes robo-taxi profit up to $350 billion in profit. And you get total gross profit of almost $100 billion in 2026 and over $750 billion in 2030. I took a different approach to net profits versus gross profits in this story, and it's the column right in between total profits and net profits. I started with 50%, that net profits are 50% of gross profits in 2021, and that rises as a share of the profits out to 2030, where it reaches 78%. The reason for that is, as the company scales, a lot of expenses shrink relative to the total volume. As long as you keep the company from becoming top-heavy, this is what you should expect to happen. Interest expense goes to zero. 
depreciation becomes very, very small. When I do gross profits on robo taxis, I'm already including depreciation of the robo taxi in the profits. So that's already taken out. So I think this is a reasonable approach. Insurance is basically going to go to zero. Tesla's going to self-insure and the vehicles aren't going to crash. They're probably going to develop sophisticated tax management strategies. So I think this is reasonable. And we see net profits in 2026 reaching $62 billion and net profits in 2030 reaching almost $600 billion. I use the same PE ratios as the previous version, starting at 100, dropping down to 39. We see market cap in 2026 reaching $3.7 trillion or a $3,700 share price. And then down in 2030, the share price reaches 22 or almost $23,000 a share. And this is still a fairly conservative approach. It's gonna get a lot better. So this is the extreme optimist scenario. If you remember back to video one, I cut back the vehicle numbers because a lot of the vehicles are being sent into the robo taxi network, which is really driving the profits in the story. So in the first column vehicle profits, the profits aren't that big compared to what's coming. Solar power wall, I really pushed those numbers up. If you remember that in video two, in 2026, we get $12 billion in solar profit, which is still less than vehicle profit at that point. But when you get out to 2030, the solar and power wall profits really start to shine and you get nearly $360 billion in gross profit there. For this extreme optimist scenario, I really pushed mega pack up to big numbers. $81 billion in mega pack profits in 2026. That's bigger than vehicle and solar together. And we get $572 billion in mega pack profit in 2030. Big, big numbers. Again, that's bigger than solar and power wall. It's bigger than vehicle profit. But that and solar and power wall together is approaching a trillion dollars. You get the really big numbers with robo taxi. Remember, this is where we said we had 200 million robo taxis, which is pushing what's legitimate. It could happen, but it's pushing it. In 2026, we get $300 billion in profit on the robo-taxi network. And then as it reaches 2030, we see the profits reaching out to $1.6 trillion. Again, if you're looking for somewhere to criticize this model, that's probably where you want to hack things down a little bit and cut my numbers down. For total profits in this story, we get to $442 billion in profit in 2026 and $2.6 trillion in profit in 2030. I have the net margin increasing as a percentage of gross profit because as i mentioned in the previous section it shouldn't be that top heavy you're having so much revenue and so much profit as long as tesla can avoid becoming top heavy depreciation's already included on the robo taxi gross profit for a lot of reasons i think this is appropriate and you get out to 2030 and the net is 84 percent of the gross you get to net profit of nearly 300 billion dollars in 2026 and net profit of 2.2 trillion in 2030. When you use a price earnings ratio, dropping a little slower this time, so in 2030, the price earnings ratio is still 47. And this is justified because in the story, the company's growing faster, although the robo taxi is reaching its limits and probably topping out. In 2026, we see a market cap of $19 trillion or a share price of $19,500. And out in 2030, we see a share price over $100,000 a share. Again, I think this extreme optimist scenario is pushing it and it would be reasonable, it would be reasonable to knock this down and say, yeah, Warren, that's probably not going to happen. But keep in mind, I left out FSD revenue on vehicles. We left out a variety of other potential sources of revenue, like Dojo as a service, AI training, like money that's made on auto bidder, running off mega pack and other stories like that. There may be other potential angles hvac where tesla is going to make additional money that i've left out of this story so if you're looking for crazy numbers you can get to one hundred thousand dollars a share in 2030 if you follow this approach looking at things from another angle i tried another approach where i said let's look at it from the moderate approach if you go back to the previous videos i have the fourth version of the story with the moderate approach and in this moderate version of the approach we have 90 billion dollars in vehicle profit in 2026 that's the yellow rectangle near the top I added the trucks and vans, cyber trucks, semi, and a van, and we get another $20 billion in profit in 2026 for that. Mega pack worked out to $174 billion in profit. Solar and power wall was $5 billion, and robo taxi was $60 billion. This is for 2026. You get a total gross profit of $350 billion in the 2026 numbers. For net profit, I'm taking 60% of gross profit in 2026, and for 2030, I'm taking 75% of gross profit. So you see $210 billion in net profit in 2026. 
That leads to, with a price earnings ratio of 60, that leads to a market cap of 12.6 trillion or a share price of $12,622 a share. That's only five years from now. In a fairly moderate approach, you could get to $12,600 a share. Just a note in the middle column there, I'm tracking gigawatt hours, which is something I'm gonna do for a later model where I wanna try to approach this and look at what's the profits per gigawatt hour to see if that's a simpler way, because this is a complex model. I had to do five videos to make this work. I wanna to try to do this later with a simpler model. So you can see 882 gigawatt hours for vehicles, another 380 gigawatt hours for a Cybertruck, semi, and van. Robotaxis don't add to the gigawatt hour count. Megapack is 1.5 terawatt hours. Solar and Powerwall in this version is only 16 gigawatt hours. It's barely noticeable. You end up with 2.8 terawatt hours of batteries used in 2026 in this approach. Moving over to 2030, we still only have $90 billion in vehicle revenue because of the way we modeled vehicles for this approach. And we have $40 billion now in truck and van revenue because those continue to grow. And then we get, now here's where the robo-taxi really starts to kick in the yellow rectangle in the 2030 column, you get $320 billion in profit there. Megapack has grown to $283 billion in profit. And Solar and Powerwall is bigger, although still not very significant at $60 billion. You end up with a total gross of nearly $800 billion in profit. With 75% of that going to net profit, you end up with nearly $600 billion in net profit in 2030. Lower the price earnings ratio to 40, and you get a nearly $24 trillion market cap and a nearly $24,000 share price for 2030. On the battery usage on the last column, the vehicles are up over 1.1 terawatt hours. The trucks are at 900 gigawatt hours. So you're about basically about two terawatt hours between the vehicles and the vans and trucks. Megapack is up to three terawatt hours. Solar and power walls, another 250 gigawatt hours. So you reach about 5.2 terawatt hours or 5.3 terawatt hours in 2030. Well within reason for where we expect battery production to be between Tesla and its suppliers. Using this approach again, but with somewhat bigger numbers, in the 2026 column at the top, we see vehicles reaching $120 billion in gross profit. Trucks and vans, again, around $21 billion in gross profit. Robotaxi now reaching $300 billion in profit in 2026. This is optimistic, but I don't think this is crazy. And Megapack reaching also over $300 billion in profit for 2026. Solar and power, while still small for 2026, reaching $12.5 billion. Put it all together, you get $763 billion in gross profit in 2026. 60% of that brings net profit in around $460 billion. With a price earnings ratio of 60, we get a market cap of $27.5 trillion or about $27,500 share price for 2026. That's not bad. Just quick note on the battery usage. We got 1.2 terawatt hours of batteries for vehicles in 2026, 380 gigawatt hours for trucks and vans, two terawatt hours for mega pack, a small amount for solar and power wall. We're around 3.6 terawatt hours in 2026. Keep in mind CATL, Panasonic, LG Chem, and Tesla are all scaling up battery production. This could potentially happen. We could reach this. Going out to 2030, we get some bigger numbers. Vehicles, again, vehicles tail off by 2030. I'm using decreasing average selling price and decreasing margins. So vehicle profits don't go up and we're not really including FSD here. So we get to $116 billion in profit for vehicles. Trucks and vans approach $50 billion in profit, but the big number is robo-taxi at a trillion dollars. This is with 100 million robo-taxis running, making not that much money per robo-taxi, but it adds up to a trillion dollars a year in gross profit. Megapack, $500 billion in profit in 2030. Solar and Powerwall in this version of the model gets big. It gets up to nearly $360 billion. It's starting to move the needle here. And we get a total gross profit of over $2 trillion for 2030. With 75% of that as net profit, you get $1.5 trillion in net profit. A 40 PE ratio, you get an over $60 trillion market cap and a share price of over $60,000 a share, nearly $61,000 a share. This is not crazy numbers. $61,000 a share in 2030, $27,000 a share in 2026. This could happen. It's pushing it. It might be a little optimistic, but it could happen. And again, we're leaving out things like Dojo as a service, AI training, which ARK Invest says is going to be a big market. 
We're leaving out the potential for Tesla to make money on HVAC, HVAC, doing air conditioning for homes, all the other potential areas, auto bidder, a lot of potential areas for Tesla profit that we haven't really addressed. What if they run their own robo semi fleet? All kinds of things could happen here. What if Tesla ends up being a big supplier to a big network of boring company tunnels and that adds even more vehicles and adds even more profit? Who knows? There's a lot more that could be here. So in some ways, this is aggressive and in some ways, this is conservative. Just really quick on battery usage. Vehicles are 1.4 terawatt hours. Trucks and vans, 1.1 terawatt hours. Mega pack is 4 terawatt hours. Solar and power wall in this version adds up to quite a bit, 1.5 terawatt hours. We reach 8 terawatt hours of batteries in 2030, which seems like a lot, but if Tesla produces a little over three and the suppliers kick in more than that, you could reach eight terawatt hours of batteries. This is not crazy, this is within reach. As you can see, when you add the numbers together, it is not crazy to see Tesla reaching $60,000 a share in 2030. And maybe the more surprising result is we could see Tesla hitting $27,000 a share or even more in 2026, just five years away. There's so much potential for Tesla stock to grow if they hit on all their cylinders, if everything comes through, if they succeed in 4680 cell production, if they succeed in delivering robo-taxi, if Megapack grows, if we see a big shift in the world to solar and wind and Megapack to support that, a lot of solar on roofs, you put all this together, it is not crazy to see Tesla going to $27,000 a share in 2026 and 60,000, even $100,000 a share in 2030 is not out of reach. That $100,000 a share requires pretty substantial changes in the way society works in a fairly short period of time. It's probably pushing it. Maybe you knock those numbers out to 2032 or 2035 and you can still reach that number and get to $100,000 a share. I still think it's possible by 2030, but I recognize it's a stretch. And it makes that $60,000 number seem a lot more reasonable. And remember, we don't know what else Tesla is going to come up with. There may be some other stuff going on there that's going to pump up even more money. We don't see a lot of holes in the story. So what we're going to see going forward is we want to look at the numbers by the end of 2021 and especially by the end of 2022 to see if they're delivering the 4680 cells and the volumes that they've talked about. If they go above those numbers, which seems like a possibility, then these numbers may actually be conservative. And if they're able to deliver full self-driving, which looks like it's really close, and if they're able to get the robo-taxi network running in 2022, then we could see some really big numbers coming. If you want to check back on the earlier videos in this series, it starts here with the vehicles and the rest of the videos are here. Please support this channel on Patreon. Check out the t-shirts on elonbits.com. Links to both in the description below. And thank you so much for watching. Let's have some fun.